everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide here. I know, I know, I haven't posted any videos in a while, but in case you didn't know this, I am like super pregnant. So, you know, I've been a little busy. But today I wanted to make this video because I wanted to talk about the five levels of fatigue. So for those of you that don't know me, I do caffeine and fatigue research. I help people who work long, unusual, unpredictable hours where caffeine use and fatigue in the workplace are the norm. I help those people build safeguards and learn how to drink caffeine and how to manage fatigue so that they don't get hurt and the people that they're helping don't get hurt. Using the five levels of fatigue makes sure that you get exactly how much caffeine you need exactly when you need it and you're less likely to build addiction or tolerance or dependence. Again, which means that when you need it most on those suckiest of sucky days, caffeine still works for your body because you haven't gotten used to it. So we're gonna go through grape flavored energy drinks to prove how that system works. And of course, if you don't drink caffeine, I have a whole training program that talks about other ways to use the five levels of fatigue to wake up. But today we're gonna to talk about the caffeine side of that program. And like I said a million times, we're gonna do it with grape flavored energy drinks. So let's start here. Fatigue level zero is when you're perfectly happy. This is your baseline. This is your natural energy. Everybody has different baselines. Some people are dancing and singing. Other people are just like, you know, level. So that's level zero. There's nothing that you need to do or drink at that level to change your energy level because you're already there. You're already great. But fatigue level one is when you start feeling bored or drowsy or dehydrated. So what do you drink for fatigue level one? Well, for our example, we're going to look at party aid. So this is fatigue level one because it has no caffeine in it, but it has other things like electrolytes and 5-HTP that can help you feel more focused and more alert without the caffeine. Fun fact, a lot of people, I don't have a number for you, but a lot of people feel tired when they're dehydrated or when they're bored. So you don't need caffeine at this level because just getting up and moving around or having a drink of water or having something else that will hydrate you will be enough. You should save caffeine for when you really, really need it. And fatigue level one is not when you need it. So I'm gonna open this up and take a drink. tastes like grape soda. Um, fun fact, fun disclaimer, I don't have a sense of smell, which is why I've never ever tried energy drinks on this channel before because how I think they taste, probably not how they taste to other people in real life that do have a sense of smell. But to me, this tastes good. It tastes sweet, but not too sweet. It's carbonated, but not like bubbles in your mouth, fully carbonated. Um, fully carbonated. But one thing that this drink does have, which helps you focus, is 5-HTP. Or, haha, 5-L-hydroxytryptophan. 5-HTP is often used to boost serotonin levels. Serotonin is one of those things called a happy brain chemical. When, you're so, when your serotonin levels are normal, you feel happier, you feel calmer, you feel more focused and 5-HTP is supposed to help boost serotonin levels. Thus, 5-HTP via serotonin is boosting your alertness and your mood and reducing your anxiety. So that's why 5-HTP is in there, and that's why this drink, even though it has no caffeine, can help you focus. That's fatigue level one. Let's talk about fatigue level two. When you're more than just dehydrated, more than just bored. What do you do? What do you drink for fatigue level two? 
My favorite fatigue level two drink is actually sugar-free Red Bull. I know, I know, fatigue level two is from zero to 100 milligrams of caffeine, and this has 114. It's just barely over that limit. So I still count it as a fatigue level two beverage. Um, we're not tasting this one today because I already drank it. Um, not today, before. So we won't taste this one, plus most of you already know what this tastes like. So instead, the fatigue level two beverage that we'll be trying today is this Rip It Energy Fuel from G-Force. All right. So this is much more purple than our Party Aid. Oh boy, that one, that one is way more carbonated and way more sweet. So let's talk about sugar. The reason I don't like energy drinks with sugar is because science has actually shown that people that have caffeine plus sugar feel more tired two hours later than people that just have caffeine. I've explained this before on a podcast that I was on, but Caffeine doesn't do anything quickly. It doesn't hit you quickly. It doesn't leave your body quickly. So if you're feeling a crash, it's either because the drink you had had a, sh had a lot of sugar in it and you're crashing because of the sugar or because you were exhausted, like you were fall asleep standing exhausted and then you had caffeine, which brought you back to life for a little bit and now you're crashing because you're returning back to that zombie land, that exhaustion. Caffeine doesn't really make you crash. That's not how it works biochemically. So if you avoid energy drinks with a large amount of sugar, then you're less likely to experience a crash. Now, this drink has two servings per container and it has 25 grams of sugar Per serving. So in other words, this drink has 50 grams of sugar per can. That's not good. If you drink this whole can, regardless if you're female or male, this drink has more sugar than you're supposed to have in your whole day, according to the American Heart Association. So I think it's probably better to find something that gives you the same amount of caffeine with no sugar. So for fatigue level zero, you're perfect, you're fine. Fatigue level one, no caffeine. Fatigue level two, zero to 100 milligrams of caffeine. Fatigue level three is when you get 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. So something that I like to drink occasionally when I'm fatigue level three is Rockstar Pure Zero. Now this is a nice little skinny can and it has 180 milligrams of caffeine per can. So this would be a good fatigue level three beverage. It fits that 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine window. Most of you already know what this tastes like, so let's taste something else. This is Clutch Energy. So this one's a lot more clear. Wow, that's very, very carbonated. <clears throat> it's so carbonated, I can't really taste the flavor. Again, this is, I have no sense of smell. So maybe most of you will tell me, oh yeah, the flavor's really strong, it's amazing. There's a hint of a grape, but mostly I just taste the carbonation and kind of the sweetness. But you get a sweetness with carbonated water anyways because the carbon dioxide turns to carbonic acid on your tongue. Yay, science. Anyways, I can't really taste the grape flavor. This is definitely less grape than this guy and way more carbonated than this guy. So. I don't know, it's, it's just all carbonation, sorry. Now, the thing with this drink, like I said, this is fatigue level three, 
because it has 140 milligrams of caffeine per can. And the reason fatigue level three is important is because you get 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. That 200 milligrams is this magical amount because of something called the yerkes dodson law. So we see this in research studies with the military, with truck drivers, with the Air Force, even with professional athletes. There's this magic sweet spot where once you get past that hump, Caffeine is making you so agitated and so alert, you actually perform worse. So for fatigue level three, one more time, you get 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, which means for fatigue level four, you get 200 to 400 milligrams. That's fatigue level four. And fatigue level four is an energy emergency. Like this is your fall asleep standing. This is like, you can't even speak coherently. You're so exhausted or you're so stressed out. Maybe it's not tired, but you're just so mentally overwhelmed that you're barely functioning. You're barely functioning normally. You're right at your breaking point. That's fatigue level four of five. This is as high as you go before you become a complete zombie. So for fatigue level four, you can have 200 to 400 milligrams of caffeine. Now, for today's grape edition, I found this Stacker 2 grape energy drink. The frustrating thing about this drink, I have no idea how much caffeine is in it. I've looked on Google, I've looked on Caffeine Informer, I've looked on Stacker's own website. I can tell you how much caffeine is in the product they sell in Europe, but that's not necessarily a guarantee of how much they sell in this product sold in the US. So I'm using the amount of caffeine in the stacker two shots, which would put this over 200 milligrams of caffeine, which would put this in fatigue level four. So we have this pinkish purple color here. Wow, okay. So it's not as carbonated as this guy, and it's way more sweet than this guy. It's so, <laughs> it's funny. With the last one, it was so carbonated, I couldn't taste the flavor. With this one, it's so sweet, I can't taste the flavor. So, and again, 200 is that magic limit where you hit that peak of performance before you start getting the side effects. 200 milligrams is also how much you get Per day if you're pregnant and if you're a healthy adult who's not pregnant or nursing then 200 milligrams is the recommended maximum that you should have per serving this is based on science collect uh, this is based on research collected by the European Food Safety Authority they looked at research from a number of other countries and assembled it together and all of the data points to 200 milligrams as the best amount to have per serving and 400 milligrams of caffeine to have per day. If you go over 400 milligrams per day, that's when the side effects of caffeine start outweighing all of the benefits. Benefits like reduced risk of Alzheimer's, reduced risk of depression, reduced risk of diabetes type two. All of the good things caffeine does for you kind of stop if you're consuming more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. So that's where fatigue level four stops. I don't encourage anyone to consume more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. So that's where fatigue level four stops. Fatigue level five is sleep. At fatigue level five, there is nothing you can do. There is no amount of caffeine that will help you because your body is going to fall asleep whether you like it or not. It might be just for a second or it might be on purpose, like a good 20 minute nap. So try and make it on purpose. It'll be safer for you and safer for everyone around you. If you wanna learn more about the five levels of fatigue, you can go to greeneyedguide.com freebies. 
and there is a free ebook that you can get that goes through these five levels of fatigue with a lot more examples and a lot more detail so that you can use the five levels of fatigue to make sure you're not building a dependence on caffeine, you're not building a tolerance, that caffeine isn't messing up your sleep, and that you're finding that peak amount where caffeine improves your focus and performance without going over that hump and giving you jitters. I hope this was helpful. I'll try to put more videos online in the near future, but again, I've got, I've got a lot going on here, so, <laughs> so we'll see. Take care, have a great day, and remember you can visit greeneyedguide.com slash freebies for the five levels of fatigue ebook and a lot more information about me and what I do. Bye everyone.